Hi, it's Smart Home Sunday. I'm here again and so are you. Oh, first time here. Oh, okay. Well, let me tell you, apparently somewhere there's a little button you can press to subscribe. So if you're interested in learning more about what you can do with Home Assistant and controlling your Philips Hue light system, well then, press the button and welcome along. Today I'm going to show you how you can do API calls from Home Assistant to the Philips Hue Hub. And in particular, I'm going to set up a automation in Home Assistant that will set the lights behind me to a certain scene over a transitional period of time, right? So if I've got these lights on and it's, say, midday, I want to switch the light color from this energize to a warmer, bright color over the period of about, well, in this example, I'll do it for five seconds. We don't have 20 minutes to wait to watch the transition occur. But the end goal will be to have a transition over a 20 minute period. So here's what you're going to need to think about doing. First, you've got Home Assistant running and here you have, uh, well, here's my little Home Assistant and I've got a nice little switch there that allows me to control those lights up there on the ceiling. They're called office because that's kind of where I am, the home office. And you're also going to want to use this little API debugger tool. This is the Philips Hue debugger tool and you can practice doing API commands. And you're also going to want to sign yourself up in the developer portal with Philips Hue so that you can access and easily reference the API documentation. So I'll show you what I'm doing here as a bit of a step-by-step. -step. Let's have a look. Now, the magical piece of code you're going to want to have is this right here. This is what we're going to add to our configuration YAML file in Home Assistant. And well, basically, you're going to create a couple of REST commands. And I'm just calling this one Office Light Bright. And then there's another one, Office Light energize so if i just separate those a moment you can see one command sending to this url the url is exactly the same in both it's a put command uh, the content type it's written in uh, json format and the payload this is the bit where it happens so in the first office light bright i'm setting the scene to this i'll explain that to you in a moment and it's going to change to that scene over a period of 50. What does 50 mean? Well, I'll try and explain that for you too. Now you can see there in the second one, Office Light Energize, it's exact same URL, uh, everything else the same, except here we have a different scene ID. So what are the magical numbers here? And also this URL, well, this long string here is my username. So you're gonna to have to create your own username for your Philips Hue Hub don't use mine unless you're connecting to my hub. Don't do not do that, please. No, uh, I'll just have this username for this video and I will be changing it. Uh, then this number 15. Well, number 15 relates to those group of lights up there on the ceiling. How do I know this information? Well, there is a little tool. I showed it before, this Clip API Debugger. So I can go into here and I can say uh, groups and I can get the groups. And then if I scroll down the bottom, you can actually see here is my group, group 15. It's called Office. It has lights 21 and 23 in there. Those two lights up there on the ceiling. So this is where the 15 comes from. If I go back to the config, there's the 15. Now, the scene. Well, I said I wanted to switch office light bright. So if I go back to the Philips uh, Hue API debugger, now let's have a look at what scenes we have. Get those. And if I scroll down the bottom, in the uh, app on the mobile, I created specific color scenes for that group of lights. So there is one here, let me find it. There's the office bright. You can see this ID here starting with GH. If you go look at my code, there it is, GH. And then energize, go up a little bit further. There's energize, starts with, oh, what a good scene. And there it is, oh, what a good scene. Okay, makes sense? 
Right. The transition time, well, um, 1 equals 1 second. Or actually, sorry, 10 equals 1 second. 1 equals 100 milliseconds. So 10 of them, you get 1 second. So with 50 of them, it's 5 seconds. So for this demonstration today, when this activates, it's going to transition over a period of 5 seconds. Okay. Hopefully you're with me so far. This is uh, not meant to be a marathon video for you, but there is a little bit to go through. So here's how we're going to put these API commands in place. We're going to add them to the configuration YAML file. And basically this snippet of code here, I'll just copy it. There we are. And I'll go and paste it in my configuration YAML. Now I use this little file editor in Home Assistant. Very handy. Now I'll just find a spot. Let's put it somewhere there. Paste. There we go. It's in. Now save. Great. That's added to the file. Don't go reading my configuration file. Stop that. Now if I go and have a look down here, you do need to check the configuration. It's all good. And you do need to restart. Yes. I've tried soft restarts and the like, but it just doesn't work. You're going to have to do a reboot of Home Assistant once you add these things to config. Uh, if you know another way to do it, well, comment below, that'd be appreciated. But in all my testing, I haven't been able to figure out uh, another way, so I just need to restart. Luckily, my little Home Assistant starts up pretty quick. So there you go. You can see I've got control of the light again. And now what I'm going to do is go down to configuration and automations. Now, these are some automations I built last time, last week. So I'll just turn those off. Now I'm going to add a new automation. I'll start with an empty one. And I'm going to call this Office Light Bright. And the trigger. Well, what I will actually do is I will have this set to a time. So at a fixed time. So let's say it... Uh, 11.55, just before midday, I'm going to have this automation begin. But I want to add a condition there because what I really want to do is I want to make sure that the uh, state of the light, which is now I need to find the light, there we go. I want to make sure the state of the light is on right so in other words if the lights off and I'm not here I don't want the scene to change otherwise changing the scene would actually turn the lights on so there's that set now down here to the action what I want to do is I want to call a service now this is great because here in the list already it will find that uh, API that I've set up in the configuration YAML really works that easily so let's go down here and have a look and looking for it and there it is restful command office light bright pick that done that automation's done it's built it's built now i'll build another one let's do the same thing office light but this is going to be energize and then the trigger so this time again triggered by time and the time i want this one to trigger is say at eight o'clock in the morning so there it is. Oops, I didn't finish my. I want to do another condition and I want to check again the state of that light. And I want to see that that light is on. And then call service and then find the office light energize. Save those two. Now, it's done. It's ready to go. Now, rather than wait until uh, those exact times tomorrow, I can show you now how it works. I'll just run the actions. Okay, so this is actually going to do the API call. And it should take five seconds to switch from this to a yellower, more warm, bright. One, two, three, four five see it's done it's done let's go back the other way office light energize five seconds five four three 
two, one. And we're back to this more blue light. So you can see it works. It absolutely works. So there you go. Now you also know how to set up uh, an API command in Home Assistant and fire off a change to a new scene in your Philips Hue Hub over a set transition period. I'm pretty happy. So I'll just extend that uh, timing uh, over a greater period so it can transition, say, across maybe 20 minutes. You won't even really notice. Just at some moment you'll realize, oh, the light color's changed. But that's it. This is probably my longest video so far on this topic. But as I said, if you're interested in this and you want to follow along, then subscribe for more of these videos. And I will know you want more. If you press that button, you can hit the thumbs up too if you like. Hopefully this was useful for you. And hopefully you now feel a little more confident to try and set up some API action inside Home Assistant. Very happy. So next time, next week, I'll try and show you more of what I've got set up. I've got a whole bunch of automations set up for times and different groups of lights and these transitions and on-off states and things. So we'll take a look at those next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.